I'm running late. Yeah, I was cooking late, man. I was trying to get on. Yeah, well, I was busy cooking up, you know, cutting up them Italian sausages, you know, put them in that uh, Italian stewed tomatoes, yeah. and okay. we're making up the rice and. Okay. And I'm doing a lot of everything from scratch. Okay, okay. Well, and I made up. I ain't got no water in there. I ain't got no food in there. What? Yeah, man, I was a... I'm going to have to start packing you a few canned goods, too. Well, yeah, you know. Um, so that's why I was going to come out during the week. Yeah. And kind of bring out some yeah, bags of yeah, canned goods yeah, and stuff, yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, hot meals on Sunday, because I don't have all the room to carry all that stuff. Right, right, right. And right, then right, during right, the week, right. I'll kind of try to bring out some canned goods and, can, you know, know yeah, toilet sure. paper and all the other... Yeah, you got no more of that because yeah. you can use up I got you. Yeah. I got yeah, you. I got 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 you. I know. I didn't even have time to go by and get her a little cake. I wanted to get her a cake so bad. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Um, Lord willing. Lord's will. I'm going to try to make it this week sometime. Come in here. Mm -hmm. Bring you a few things, okay, and uh, 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 matter of fact, you might wanna, uh, you know, I go tomorrow. For oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know it, but I know now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, uh, About time. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna have to. Yeah, well, they'll have to get it down before yeah. they can do the surgery. Yeah, that's what I heard, so. yeah they can't do it with the blood pressure. Up. Because, um, but really, pain medication, the pain medication actually makes your blood pressure come down. When they put you on anesthesia, it makes your blood pressure come down. <laughs> but there's still a risk. Yeah, right. Yeah. So. Is that another tent? Uh, those flowers coming off that azalea. Those are pink flowers coming off the azalea. You see those? Yeah, yeah. Right through there? Right, yeah, yeah that's, no, I thought it was a tent, but it's a. Oh, no. Do you have a pink tent? Yeah, right. I was going to do through there last night. You know, I don't know who they were. One was driving a little, like, a little cycle. You know, he was going back and forth up in there. I I mean, you know, I was just being annoyed by the little noise that was going through there. Well, you know, they're probably going there to try to see uh, what's the name. Yeah, yeah, either Doug or Jane back there somehow. Yeah, they're going to dump Well, that's a good thing. Yeah. If you woke up this morning, that's a good thing. Well, oh. there has well, well, there has been a stomach bug that's been going around. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that's what it was, but. Whew. Yeah, Man, it'll put you. Up. It'll get you coming out the both ends sometimes. Oh yeah. From what did. I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, I threw up and everything. That's that bug. That stomach bug has been going around. It's been running. It's run through my family and um, other people they know. It's been going around. So it's not something that's just in one family. It's, it's been going around. Is that right? I don't even know. Well, you know, ever since this COVID, I don't doubt that a lot of things are going around. Yeah, right, right, right. right. So. <laughs> Can you tell? Yeah. Can you tell? But. Yeah. Yeah, I was all up, man, and just finally, you know, I, I couldn't even get out of bed, really. But it threw up a couple times. Then, uh, you know, she she was there for a while. And well, that hernia might be doing some of that. Yeah. There is a stomach bug going around. I know that for sure. 
Yeah, I've been plenty of water. That'll help flush your system out. Mm. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling like I was fit to make it, boy. For a while, you know how you're going to just kind of know maybe, you know, you know, you know your time going to run out sometime. <laughs> you don't know how. <laughs> Our time is going to run out sometimes. Yeah, exactly. It's just a matter of being ready when it runs out. Uh, you know, I mean, I've always felt like I'd be ready, you know, because I, you know, I mean, I, I ain't really got no real beef with, you know, my life and how, you know, it turned, well, the way it turned out, but, you know, plus, you know, just well, being okay. And, well, I'm and, fixing to redo this set up here. I'm going to put me a little raised thing here where I can pull a table out and bring out my griddle. Maybe come out early sometime and cook you some breakfast and all that. Wow. And then we can talk about that little thing about, you know, <laughs> okay. about being ready. Yeah, okay. okay. Fellowship a little bit. Okay, that's See fine how things. That's fine. I can't bring no chessboard because I ain't. I don't play that stuff no more. No. <laughs> if I did that, we'd be sitting out here all day long. I, we would never get nothing done. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what happens a lot of times. Do you have a chessboard? I do, but it's over to my buddy. Oh, your buddy's there. house. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he comes so, and gives me about every day to play. You just do it on your phone? No. I used to, though. I, I played on my phone plenty of times. You know, when I ain't had nobody to play, you know. Mm -hmm. I got you. Yeah, man, I love that cut. I got you. Let's get out of here. He ain't showing up. Yeah. Well, that old know. rascal preacher. He <laughs> ain't no. <nothing. laughs> that's what I was saying. So I said, I wish I had a way to just kind of know. But once I looked at my clock, I was like, nah, he ain't talking. I ain't really looking at the clock. I just been trying to get better. All morning. Yeah. Fine. I said, let me just look at it. Well, that's probably the only reason why I'm still here then. Well, I think so. Because, I, I, you know, once it was about maybe 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock come, I said, nah, he ain't coming. He ain't coming. To, you know, Guess what? He's, he's here. <laughs> he's here. Yeah. That's what, uh, um, Sean, Sean said, hey, he's coming today. I said, well, still too early to tell, but... I'm going, you know, I'm going to keep my hope alive. <laughs> well, I try. my hope alive, you know. I try. It just got to the point where I just, I said, man, I just ain't got nothing to eat in there. No water. Well, you know, so I felt so thirsty. She went and got a little bottle from somewhere this morning. She brought it back. She finished that. Coming after you. Here they come. Yeah. <laughs> That's no, fire truck. <laughs> That's fire truck. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it is a fire truck. Sound like yeah, a fire yeah, truck. Yeah, it's a fire truck, yeah. Anytime you be here to hear that big horn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe Santa Claus is on the front of it. <laughs> I don't know what to do. They're running Santa Claus on the front of it. They did have one uh, Santa Claus on the front of it. It around Christmas time. Guys, do it. Oh, yeah. Can I dress it up now a little bit? You can help yourself and dress it up. Put a dress on it. Put pants on it. However you want to oh, okay. There's stuff all down the front there. Mm -hmm. I even brought a little bit of that in case you want a little parmesan. Some parmesan cheese on it. Sure. sure took them long enough to get here. Yeah, right. <laughs> Heard siren like five miles down the road and finally it got here. Oh, yeah. Use all you want. Make sure you get plenty on there. If you don't get enough on there, it ain't my fault. Yeah, right. <laughs> Taste the stuff anyway. I like to taste stuff. Yeah. No sense in putting it on there if you ain't gonna really taste it. Yeah, know? I mean, that's kind of crazy. Alright. Let's
You can. I'm sorry I didn't give you one. I gave you one now. Sure, how your stomach was gonna handle that Italian sausage yeah, and everything. Don't worry about it. We're gonna have to worry about it later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll worry about that later. Mm -hmm. Right now, my stomach says, mm -hmm. Feed me. Mm -hmm. Feed me. <laughs> well, thank the Lord I'm out here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the food. It's amazing how folks don't thank the Lord until it's something they need or something they want or, <laughs> you know, or, Lord, help get me out of here. Oh, oh, get me out of this. this this crocodile's about to swallow me. Mm -hmm. You know? That's how we carry it on this morning. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Mm. Now, would you normally have gotten up and said, thank you, Lord, for this day? <laughs> no. I'm be honest. But, you know, he's just always trying to, you know, acknowledge his, his presence in my life. Try like, that joke real quick. Yeah, God got a plan for me. Well, you mentioned yeah, about, yeah. mentioned about children. You said you had children. Yeah, I had could you imagine, twins. Now, could you imagine being at the house and all of a sudden your kids are there and oh, they're running around, man. They just run through there. Phew, 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 phew. Not even acknowledging you. Phew, 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 phew. Oh, yeah, I need something. Oh, hey, Dad, you really So, in other words, you, you only acknowledge the Father when you need something or you just keep going by Him every day and you never say, yeah. you walk up to Him and say, Dad, Father, I love you. I just want to say, I don't want nothing. I just want to say, I love you. You know, he likes to hear that. If you're really his, you love your father. And, um, you know, he's there. He's there even when you don't acknowledge him. That's just All it. Right. Sure, yeah. I tried to, you know what? I tried to tell uh, Simon that the other day. You know, I mean, I might not be as, you know. I you know, Terry. The, look. God, there's a yes. lot of people. There's a lot of people in local churches yeah. that don't acknowledge God like I just told you. Yeah. Okay. They get up in the morning. And it's like, oh man, I got to get to work. Got to get to work. Yeah. Don't pray. Don't read their Bible and all this stuff. And then go to work and say, blanky blank, you know. And then all of a sudden, hey Fred, won't you come to the church social? <laughs> so they just got done cussing. Never gave God glory. Yeah. And then went to work cussed and then asked somebody to come to church. I wouldn't go to church with them. <laughs> Not after like that. So I, that's what, Terry, that's why I think it's important when I come out here, I don't want to have to, I don't want to have to, you know, I don't, don't want to have to strap and all that stuff. And I don't want to have to strap and I don't want to have to scrap. And, uh, it's not, it's not what a preacher does. I should be out here trying to tell everyone about the Lord and trying to be an example. And, uh, you know, it seemed like every time, now I expect something to happen because I'm telling you about it now. The last time I was talking, last time I was talking to Doug, I think it was, I was telling Doug, I said, you know, I said, I was talking to him, I believe it was something about being an example. Because Doug was to mention some things, and I said, "Well, Doug, I said, it's not you telling them; it's you showing that you're a Christian, not telling people you're a Christian." And not sooner than I said that, and everything, it was just just a minute or so. Here come James. That's that day that all that stuff happened. Right after I'm telling him about being mm. an example, that all some of the devil gets right, in there right, and says, right. "Well, we'll let's see what you see how you handle this thing." 
I could have got mad. I could have ran over there and, yeah. you know, yeah. shoved the stone down his throat and, right. um, or pulled out a gun and shot him or some stupid thing, you know. And But um, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. That's not that's not that's not me. And um, I just want to try to be a help. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I first time I come out here, I came out here. I didn't come out here to say, oh, "Why don't y'all get a stinking job? Why don't you get out of here?" And, and, like everybody tells me, you know, they're like, "Yeah, why you feed them homeless? Why don't you tell them to go out and get a job and everything?" <laughs> I said, "Well, for your information, a lot of them have jobs. The only problem is they can't afford a place to live. You know." Uh, that's what people don't understand is that you know a lot of a lot of the homeless are working but the only problem is is expensive that it, they don't have any kind of low-income housing um or any kind of establishment that will try to get you into a low-income house <clears throat> so i don't know don't know terry i just don't know but as long as the Lord gives me strength, I'll try to get out here and do something. Let everybody else do whatever everybody else wants to do. You like these? Huh? You like those? Oh yeah, I love those. Yeah. See if there's any more. There's some candy. Yeah, you can have some of this candy too. What? Yeah. Right now I'm a little disappointed with her though. Yeah, you've been mentioning that. She uh you know, she was the way I was when she left. I don't know if I felt good about leaving her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 I know exactly. Right anyway, you know what I'm saying? See how Terry doing. I wasn't looking so good when I was there. Well, her plate's in here. I gave her a fork. Steak. Yeah, she got a fork. Um, I threw you some, um, I threw you crackers and all that stuff, sift in there, whatever. Whatever you want, get it. But I put her a meal in there for her. And, um, and if she don't want it, don't eat it, then you eat it. Right. I don't know. She, she'll, she'll probably eat it, though. You know, she, she don't really eat a lot, though. That's her thing. She's a nitpick. So maybe when you're still doing her trades, don't try to put so much in it. She'll, you know, she eat like a little Tweety Bird. I'll be asking her if you had Yesterday, I don't think she ate nothing. You know, she be talking about watching her weed or whatever. Really? Yeah, hey, ain't like you a real big girl. <laughs> you know. I don't know, Terry. Women are always like that. Yeah, they don't want to get too, mm -hmm. too over, you know, too over healthy. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. You don't, you don't, you don't say women get fat. They just get over healthy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> over healthy. So, but um. This is good. Cool. Here, let me put this down here for you so you can set it on here. I don't want you to drop it. I don't want to drop it either. No, I don't want you to drop it either. I spent too much time cooking that stuff. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, and there's some garlic salt if you like garlic salt. And there's salt and pepper. Yeah, there's that um, there. seasoning. Um, Mike gave me. Um, oh, just set it there. Anyway. Set it there. Oh, that uh, garlic salt's good on everything. Yeah, I heard. I ain't never really like garlic too much, though. Well, the garlic salt's a little different. Oh, okay. You can always drop a little in your hand and taste it. <laughs> All right. I'm do me. Well, can I get a couple more waters? And yeah, we can. Get a, a bit of drink.
Oh yeah, I gotta get her a drink. Mm -hmm. You think she wants a tea? Uh, yeah, give her the tea. I don't care what she likes. I'm going to drink it anyway. Put <laughs> <laughs> well, well, there's some waters in there. There's some tea in there. Yeah. Think hard to give a... a, a, a Hey, you, you make the water. Okay. I got three in there. Thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, if I had that, I'd have lost a bunch more than that. I didn't bring much water because I got some cold water, but um, I was running late. My that's mind wasn't working. I was trying to get, yeah, <laughs> get everything together. Yeah. So, but like I said, I'm going to try to be coming out during the week here. And, um, yeah, if you can, um, that'll be fine. You know, I don't know. Like I said, uh, you know, she may be here by herself. I don't know what's going. What's she going to do while I'm trying to? We're, we're That's right, because right. you're going in tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going tomorrow for surgery. So, um, we're at Beautiful Memorial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, if you can, you know, maybe just kind of safe swing by and see if she's alright back there. Cause I probably, you know, I ain't gonna, ain't gonna be nothing I can do. You know, in the hospital. I don't really like to leave her back here, you know, by herself, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah especially at night time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, a guy brought came through my night. Like, he had this big knife, brand new big knife. I said, man, can I get that? You know, he said, yeah, you know, I mean, you give me a couple dollars. He went and gave it to me. You know, I just pay him later. But I don't always what feel What did he look like? You know, you might know skimp with all that hair. Walk around up and down here with all the hair. On the back of his head, black guy, young guy, kind of tall. Oh, black guy. Yeah. Oh. Skip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, you're but, um, uh, kind of like dreads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I feed him. Yeah. yeah. When yeah. I see him. Yeah, I feed yeah, him when I see him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. you talk about. What would that be? I used to first started feeding him down at the waterfront. Oh yeah. 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 And then um, he was over there with Doug a couple of times. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. He, he, he's from New York, though, I think. But anyway, you know, he came through with that knife, man. I, once I got it, I felt a lot safer, though. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, you know you'll never know who might do what. Need you a machete. <laughs> it looked almost like one. No. Mm -hmm. well, All right, don't let me hold you, man. I'm going to check on Mike. He's probably thinking I ain't coming, but he ain't doing nothing anyway. Which Mike? Uh, the one that used to be out here with the glasses. Um, oh, yeah, behind Savage Tsunami. Behind Savage Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I run into him over there, you know, once in a while over there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go feed him, okay, and then okay. um, I'll go out around the uh, Walmart area. A lot of the people I try to... I do have another couple out there. Yeah. Uh, from Georgia that I take care of. And uh, I had a bunch of them out there, but... They all just kind of staying away. Yeah. I'm like, well, whatever. I don't care. You know, I try to help, but if you don't want it. Well, I appreciate you. I tell you, boy, I can't tell you that enough. Boy, because today, I told you, I was just going to go and try to figure out where I'll go. You know, I ain't got no money. <laughs> but I was going to go, you know, try to beg somebody for something or something. But, you know, I'm just so glad to, that you, you know, that you come. You know what I'm saying? And well, I'm going to be here. I appreciate that. And Lord yeah. willing, I'm going to try to get, if I can get some more help and try to get um, some people with setups, I can get set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and I can cover more area. Then the days that I might be sick or can't make it, somebody will still be able to come around. Okay. But it's not going to be anybody who's going to be a temporary type of deal. Yeah, right, right. It's going to be someone who's dedicated yeah. and uh, loves you guys yeah, yeah. and going to do a good job. I know you do. <laughs> you be good, Terry. I'm going to get out of here and go and try to help somebody else. Be good. I hope you don't get sick again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, matter of fact, matter of fact, let's have a word of prayer on that surgery you're going to have tomorrow. Heavenly Father, I pray, dear God, I pray for Terry, Lord. I pray, dear God, Lord, um, Father, you already know the outcome of everything. You already know what's going to happen with everything. But I pray for Terry, Lord. I pray, dear God, that um, you give him strength, dear God, as he goes to the surgery tomorrow. I pray, Lord, everything goes well. I pray, dear God, that, um, Lord, that you uh, just let him feel better, dear God. Even today, Lord, I know he's had a stomach ache and all those things, Lord. But, Father, please help him. Dear God, please touch him and strengthen him, dear God. Put a hedge around him. Put a hedge of protection, dear God, around him, um, around the campsite, Lord, um, around anyone that's going to be staying here, dear God, please. I just pray, dear God, your protection, dear Lord, and your your grace has always been there, Lord. And we understand grace is unmerited favor. We didn't do anything to deserve it. But, dear God, you've still been good to us. But, Lord, please touch Terry and help him. Dear God, please, Lord, give him a successful surgery. And, dear God, touch his body and heal him, dear God, I pray. Lord, in all of his infirmities, I pray, dear God, you touch him and help him. So, Lord, we love you. We we stand amazed, dear God, of what you've done. But we'll stand even more amazed, dear Lord, of things you're going to do. Lord, please. Lord, we ask all these things in Lord Jesus Christ's name. We pray. Amen and amen. Love you, Terry. Be good, buddy. Always. If I can't be safe, I'll just go home. <laughs> That's the one here. Not, you know, because I do have another home. My real home. Terry, be good, buddy. Yes, sir. You're welcome.